what's up welcome back to my channel i am shreya roy and you are watching edunation eco funnomics where i post student related videos to make your career a success b c d e f g i am the excel to do up Today's discussion is online education and its career impacts. I will also provide you steps to rectify those impacts. So let's just be frank. And we all know during this pandemic, every one of you are pursuing your education online. Ignore my background noise and please concentrate on what I'm trying to say. So many of you, actually all of you, have been pursuing your education through the online mode. and now truly you know sincerely do tell me how many of you have actually sat through an online class and have attended and taken notes of all your online lectures secondly how many of you actually appeared for the exam without even cheating a bit even that bit actually to speak the truth most of you must have cheated immensely google friends whatsapp everything must have been on while you were answering your exam am i not right so just the way i know the fact everybody else does so everybody knows that you have cheated everybody knows that online education is boring everybody knows that you were not efficient or productive enough during these two years 2020 2021 so in the same process if i may say there are so many freshers there are so many unemployed out there the batch previous to your batch the batch previous to their batch the upcoming batch so there is a huge flood in the unemployment sector in the fresher sector so there is a huge crowd who is trying to seek employment or trying to seek higher education so if you have watched my previous video where i have spoken about the academic gap uh, if you haven't i'll drop a link in the description and it will also be linked here or here wherever and there i have spoken that if you have an academic gap you will be suffering in this scenario where there is a batch who belongs to this uh, online education mode and you are uh, somebody who has an academic gap and the such a scenario the two of you will be weighed equally and the weightage will be given to you more than the people or the students who have sat through the online education mode because in the online education mode we have to know that even the teachers and the professors were not that technologically sound and they were not able to you know provide the education provide the knowledge provide the notes or whatever it is that efficiently as they would had during the physical class they were not personally able to solve a one to one doubt they were not able to give you a proper one to one attention as they would had had you been been in a physical class So under such a scenario obviously you are going to suffer a lot so if you're one of those in which all the two years are online education so basically you must be somebody who have just had one year of proper physical education and the remaining two were online mode so you have to adopt some called the signaling method So everybody out there knows that you were not good enough So what they are trying to do is if you have scored a 90 they are going to just deduct your marks by 3/4 or half and then they are going to place your resume or your application with the others who were not during the pandemic i mean whose applications or who are a passed out previous to your year so this way your marks which was here is actually coming here So you might say no but I was really good I was efficient I did you know answered my exam piously I attended the online mode of class properly and entirely I sat through the class since morning 8 till 2 or 5 in the evening still why will it happen to me well under such a scenario I must say you have to adopt the signaling method So signaling is basically an economic term in which the worker the student employee whatever they have to signal that I'm better than the rest 
To do so, you have to adopt mainly three strategies. Number one, I highly recommend that adopt or get yourself enrolled into some paid online education courses. Why I am stressing on paid? So when you are enrolling yourself into a paid course, you are giving more of your attention, more of your devotion towards that course because it is a paid course. And until and unless you do not complete your course, until and unless you do not properly sit through the examination, you will not receive a certificate. Whereas for the free mode of education, the free mode courses, which the LinkedIn is uh, offering, which, you know, uh, Coursera is offering, which there are so many, you know, educational websites, um, Swayam Education and so many things which are out there who are giving you free online courses and there are like ants students are like ants getting themselves enrolled into free online courses and everybody is getting a certificate if you just open your linkedin you'll find everybody is pursuing an online education everybody is posting a certificate i have completed this i have completed this i have completed but those are all free free online courses are never given as much as value as a paid online course receives so always if you have the resources if you can afford the course i would obviously say take up a paid online course add on to your degree add on to your cv add on to your application make it a little more heavy with a paid online course number two uh, ask your teacher your professor for a good letter of recommendation a letter of recommendation is where your teacher, professor, dean, principal, somebody says that I know the student and I am taking the guarantee that this student, this, this person is good in whatever he does. This person is good in studies. This person is good in the school curriculum. So I would always say take it up from the highest, most person possible. If you are in school, teacher, principal, okay, if you are in college lecturer professor hod dean so the higher the ranking better your lor base so try to get a proper good lor also here i would like to mention here i would like to mention that please take an lor from somebody who is not just randomly giving it to all suppose you're in a class of 50 and your teacher is giving an lor to each and every person in that classroom then what way does that have? What importance, what significance that one piece of letter has? Anybody and everybody is basically getting it. So that LOR does not count. Please take it up from a good person, good uh, positioned professor, teacher, lecturer, dean, whatever, and make sure that that person is not randomly handing out LOR to anybody and everybody. Next, I would say just keep yourself, uh, participate in some good competitions. And I would say, please present the certificate only if you win. If you're one of those people who is randomly participating in each and every competition and you're having a participant certificate, such participant certif participation certificate does not count. Okay, so let's just say that nobody remembers who was second everybody remembers who was first who landed on the moon first who went to the space first who is the first prime minister who is the first president you ask who is the second person who landed on the moon nobody remembers so that's what i mean that here try to have if you win the competition only then present your certificate please do not present a certificate if you are just simply participating so this is going to tell and signal out to the uh, you know hiring person to your college application manager whoever that person is that this person is something unique out of the rest of the online schooling students next here i would like to say add on if possible publish an article related to the subject you're trying to seek admission is for example you're trying to seek admission into BCom, if you're trying to seek admission into BSc Economics, so try to publish an article on that subject. That is going to signal out, okay, so this person got a chance to publish an article. Now I'll also tell you how you can publish an article. We do help people to students to publish their articles, but let's just complete and this portion first. So if you 
signal out and present a good valuable knowledgeable economics article accounts article finance article management article the application itself is becoming so much more heavy than the rest of the people so you're signaling out so much to the person who is uh, you know sorting out the application for the you know college procedure or you know even the companies they are going to see you are so much more better than that lot so simply adopt few signaling techniques now coming to the point how you can publish your article with us you have to again i'll tell you the link is down in the description go hit that link and write a topic or abstract whatever it is you want to work on and send us the email we'll rectify it if we can work with us and we'll publish your article so all the details will be on the website and the link is down in the description so that was about it i hope the video was helpful i hope you learned something i hope this video will help you to boost your career it will help you to boost your cv your application and if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe and join the family if you haven't joined as yet as you know 90% of my viewers are not subscribers which is very weird because i don't have so many viewers so anyways now that's all for today i'll see you next week until then 